Hi guys, my name's Sunny Catania and I've been a dietitian now for the last 15 years. I became a dietitian because I really wanted to impact a person's health through better nutrition choices. And when I first graduated 15 years ago, um, I, you know, I was gung ho. I, I established three inner city private practices. I worked my way up, um, volunteered my way up through to um, working at the elite sports nutrition level. Um, and um, I, what I was, what I was becoming increasingly frustrated about was the limited impact that my advice was having in my clients. So in my private practice setting, I had a lot of clients who wanted, who saw me for weight loss, for better energy levels, for um, improving their sleep, for improving gut issues, for being able to move through weight loss plateaus, um, all of the above. And then in the sports nutrition setting, I had athletes who, um, who needed to improve their recovery to be able to back up after their sessions, to be able to um, meet body composition requirements for the aesthetic of the aesthetics of their sport um i you know we talked all that we we um spoke about fueling for their sport and how to recover appropriately and what i felt like was i could only ever get someone about 50 percent of the way there whether they were in my private practice whether they were an athlete um i had a lot of people who i felt like i could only ever help so much um, and was still kind of feeling frustrated, not whether it was athletes not being able to recover or back up after a session. Um, some can, needed to consider early retirement because it was just, we couldn't work out what they were missing. And then in the private practice setting, I felt almost guilty when someone was paying me, you know, month after month or week after week, when their progress was stalling and they were kind of, they felt like they were being really compliant with the nutrition that I had, um, you know, I, I was advising them of. And so I, I always felt like I was missing something. I felt like I was missing a piece of the puzzle. You know, what was it something in the water? Was it their hormones? Was it, um, you know, what was it that stopped them from getting the results that they wanted? And so I felt like I had fewer and fewer tools in my toolkit and felt like I was kind of sitting on my hands with a lot of them and, and not knowing how else to, to be able to help them. Eight years ago, everything changed because I came across a, a product system um, by Isogenics. And let me share a little bit about what has changed and why I continue to recommend it eight years on and how it's changed things for me. So number one, what, what Isogenics can provide is a quality nutrition source. Okay, so we know that things like micronutrient deficiencies um, tend to sneak up on us. So things like micro, uh, deficiencies in uh, in magnesium or zinc can affect our energy levels, our sleep, our immunity, on you know our ability to recover properly after exercise. The, how how stressed or how well we can deal with stress. Um, we know that you know I'm I'm guilty of this. I've gone to the the, um, the farmer's market, loaded up on fresh produce, only to get caught up in a busy life and have some of that fresh produce rotting away. That's not in my body, that just rotted away in the in the fridge, despite my best intentions, okay? So number one, we can help um, to be able to deliver quality nutrition. Number two is that as part of that, we can help to redistribute the amount and quality of protein that someone gets through their diet. Um, and so what I mean by that is what we tend to see is a number of people, especially in the Western kind of world, um, where we tend to have a little bit of protein uh, at breakfast, a little bit of protein at lunch, and then we tend to have quite a lot, a very um, skewed intake of protein across the day. Now, um, what we what we do with uh, and the isogenic system is we redistribute that, um, that protein and provide quality amounts of protein where we can establish what we call protein pacing. So Dr. To Paul Arciero, um, the uh, incredible um, exercise and protein scientist, um, coined the term protein pacing. That's essential for things like weight loss, being able to move a weight, uh, through a weight loss plateau, be able to improve energy levels, be able to improve um, a better um, a metab metabolic um, potential, be able to improve muscle, um, be able to improve recovery, uh, satiety, the list goes on. Protein pacing is really essential for a number of things. Um, and we know that also so enough protein, particularly in the morning, despite what you do during the rest of the day, can affect your sleep. So number two was protein pacing. Number three was being able to incorporate the strategy of 
uh, intermittent fasting by being able to provide some nutrition support over the day where we can drop calories to that, that would qualify for, as an intermittent fast, um, but also provide the nutrition support and the system that made it really simple for someone to be able to achieve and follow um, that protocol. So we've been able to help people move through weight loss plateaus, be able to improve their energy levels, improve their sleep, um, be able to um, feel like they're almost winding the clock back in terms of what their body and that their capacity is able to do, see better results in training, move through performance plateaus, through harnessing the strategy of nutritionally supported intermittent fasting. So that was number three. Number four has been um, through isogenics, being able to harness the power of adaptogens. Now, previously, um, as a dietitian, I was kind of, this was outside of my realm or my scope of practice because a lot of adaptogens come in the form of practitioner only um, supplements where, you know, naturopaths and Chinese herbalists tend to practice in this realm. And for a dietitian, this has been priceless because we can use adaptogens, which are those plant-based um, botanicals or herbs that can actually help our body um, be able to mitigate or um, improve our tolerance to stress. And that's a big part when it comes to um, having better energy levels, being able to um, be more effective in what we do, how we train, how we feel, how we sleep. And um, that's really changed the game, um, you know, uh, completely for me, um, if it was just that one thing. And the last thing is, is the isogenic system, if it's nothing else, it delivers convenience. And we know that convenience is something is so essential for someone to be able to follow the program consistently, not just for the first 30 days, not just for the next 90 days, but be able to incorporate this system in one way or another so that it becomes a maintenance protocol for them. I can speak personally, I've been using the products in one way or another for, for through the last eight years, and I couldn't imagine ever going on another day without having these products in my life. And I've been able to help a lot of people be able to feel the same way, um, to see better health, because when you see better results, it's a no brainer as to you know how you're able to achieve that. So bottom line is now I can get consistent results um, every time. Number two is that um, I'm confident that I can help anyone that I come across, whether it's for weight loss, whether it's for a plateau, whether it's for energy levels, performance plateaus, you name it, we can do it with an isogenic system in some way or another. The, and the, the coolest thing for me too, as a, in private practice or being in that private practice space, is that now my recommendations in terms of products um, come with a 30 day, 100% money back guarantee that I could never do in private practice because obviously they're paying for my time um, rather than the, you know, the products. So for me, it's a no brainer. I hope this has helped you make a decision either way, whether isogenics has been right for you. And I can't wait to see.